Hello Aquarius, welcome to your tarot reading for the week of April 13th to the 19th. Now, um, right off the bat, I have eight reverse cards and one card in the upright position. So if we are to use this for your um, overarching energy or the um, crowning energy, what I would definitely say about this week is um, this is to redefine the way you think and redefine the way you behave in relationships. And I feel that um, communication is greatly indicated with this card. It could also be like a new method of thinking, thinking outside the box, a new gift of insight, ideas, and things like that. And um, for this week, two of the main themes um, that are shown up is um, things from the past, okay? This is things from your past your, your um, far away past, they're cycling back in. And I do feel greatly with the Five of Pentacles and the Devil, these are basically things that um, you've left behind. They're cycling back in and um, you've, you've already blocked them out. This card is you here with the Queen of Swords here. You've already blocked them out, they're coming back in, so you're thinking about a new way to deal with these old problems from the past. They could be relationship oriented, they could be work projects. I do feel a lot of you might be dealing with this in a work uh, capacity. And they might be, you know, things that you've invested a lot of time in and um, you're not going to reassess. I don't feel that a lot of you are... Um, are going to let this back into your life because you are very guarded and you're guarding against things coming in from the, the past, okay? Um, it would upset you a little bit with these new uh, old energy cycling in. It would upset you, but I do feel in general um, you are very rational, so you're going to be fine, okay? So that's one major theme, P things from the past coming in. And then we have um, these two cards also in the reverse position. And both of these cards are indicative of walking away, of letting go, of um, out with the old, in with the new, basically. And um, this card itself is very good in the, rever in the upright position because it does indicate the ability to let go and uh, moving on to something that is worthwhile, that is better, that is more fruitful. It is in the reverse position, so if it is a, a situation from the past, you might have a little bit of regret in terms of um, fully implementing you know, the, the grieving process and letting it go once and for all. And then we also have this card in the reverse position, which, you know, upright, all, it's also indicative of letting go, walking away, um, it's different from the death card in that um, there is a lot of pain, a lot of regret associated with this situation. So in the reverse position, coming in at the end of the week, I do feel that it is a situation in which you're, you're going to walk away once and for all. And I don't feel there's going to be regret associated with it at all. Mainly because you are a lot more objective coming into the end of this week. You see the bigger picture. You know that um, in the past it hasn't served you. So you're not going to waste any more time on it. Nor will you let it occupy your thoughts for too long. Okay, so overall, pretty good energy. It's just, um, you know, with things and people from our past, it is important to um, keep a, a very firm perspective, mainly because if it hasn't worked out before, most likely it's not going to work out now. So that is like the uh, mentality and the attitude that you will be forced to kind of um, exhibit and to kind of rely on in order to navigate this week, okay? And that would be the only thing that I see, um, just things from the past coming back in and then you doubting the ability to walk away and then walking away once and for all without further regret. So you're leaving it all behind and it's done and over with, which is a very good energy. So um, have a great weekend. Um, I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.